and welcome to my channel. It looks like I've just had a huge package arrive. It's, uh, well, it's certainly bigger than I was expecting. So we're going to open it up and see what I've got. I'm going to put the box down on the floor and then I'll take each item out individually because I think they'll be easier. Now, although I was expecting a parcel, I certainly wasn't expecting any extras. But my naughty friend, Kim, who used to have the channel um, oh, Wesley's World, has sent extras. And this says, Bella Schildkrop, vintage doll by author Heidi Ott, Germany, 1970. Original shirt and jacket, modern trousers and trainers. So, yes, this is very exciting. And certainly far more than I was expecting and uh, let's see who we've got in here oh wow look at her she's different she's lovely she's got a cloth body and she's got um, so look take her clothes off so we can see her she's got uh, little um, vinyl hands she's got a cloth legs and I would imagine she's got just soft feet so she's very cute Kim thank you I certainly wasn't expecting her it's very naughty of you they say naughty but nice She's very sweet. It's a bit warm today, so I'm going to leave the jacket off for now. And we're going to pop her at the back. So she's sitting up there. She's a real cutie. And then we've got another package here. So we'll see what that is. Move it back down again. And this feels a bit like fabric. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Wow. Kim, thank you so much. You you really have spoilt me. And um, I love fabric because now I don't really have access to fabric shops. Apart from the local charity shop that sometimes has fabric. I'm very, very grateful. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. That is lovely. That's really nice. Oh, I wonder what I'm going to make with that. Thank you. And then we've got some sort of like a, um, it's almost like a knit fabric uh, with the um, Russian dolls. So that will be fun. Some other more polka dot fabric. I'm going to have a bit of fun mix, mix and matching these. And they're perfect for the summer. And some uh, checked, which is really lovely. And this one, um, what do they call this? Paisley, isn't it? Thank you so much, Kim, for that fabric bundle. That is absolutely fantastic. And then the next item I was expecting, although it's still bigger than I was expecting, a big box here. We're going to unwrap that. Very well wrapped. Beautiful, sturdy box that was all sent in. Oops, just tilted my camera. Sorry about that. I've had real fun and games filming recently. I broke my iPad. So I thought I'd film with, uh, I filmed, did a film, uploaded it to uh, a new iPad, did the film, edited it all and then went to upload it on my computer and it's nowhere to be found. So it took me all day to do a film, well all day and a half a day, so in the end I had to re-upload it to my iPad that's finally got new glass on it and that that was the video I up, the last video I uploaded but very frustrating I think I really need to find a new editing program I currently use um, iMovie and it seems to have a bug in it that if any movie is over 10 minutes it just doesn't want to upload it and says I don't have the space or the memory when in fact I do so um, I've looked it up on the internet and a lot of people have complained about this bug but it seems they're not willing to fix it so um, I really do need to find a better editing program. I'd also like to know how people um, put little words and sentences on their videos. I can't do that unless I actually 
split the video and it comes up at the very beginning of each section of video which of course is not what you want because sometimes you want to insert a word or a correction part the way through a video at a particular point so if anyone's got any ideas and could tell me how to go about doing that I'd really be grateful anyway let's see what's in this box shall we oh it's very well wrapped little thing of lavender Oh, three little bags of lavender. So we have got, oh, the lavender smells amazing. Oh, wow, that's really beautiful, Kim. And you can tell it's vintage and it's very vintage because it says foreign. So um, I'm guessing it dates back to probably the, I guess it's probably the 70s. I'm not sure, maybe slightly older. So that my um, bigger dolls will enjoy using this for their coronation tea party that they're going to have. It's a little jug. Uh, I probably won't get it all out at the moment, but I'll show you one of each, each little thing because there's a little, little bowl. Uh, just to give you an example of the different pieces within it. There's six, six lovely cups and there'll be uh, uh, six sauces. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six sauces. Little milk bowl and I'm guessing that's a little sugar, sugar bowl perhaps. Milk jug rather. Whoops. Milk jug. And is that a sugar bowl? It seems a bit shallow for a sugar bowl. But uh, yeah, it's really beautiful. Thank you, Kim. I really love it. So I won't take it all out, the whole set out at the moment, because um, I'm trying to, we've finally let our coal fire go out. And I'm in the process of, I've completely cleaned the fireplace today. But now I've got to de-dust everything because, of course, the ash just over over the course of the winter, I gave up trying to clean it every day because it's just too much. So I need, now need to give the lounge a real spring clean because there is dust everywhere. So um, I've still got to finish around the fireplace. Anyway, that's me nattering on. Beautiful teapot, beautiful cup and saucer, lovely little milk jug and little bowl. So yeah, that's a really beautiful set. And then along with the fabric and the doll. Thank you so much, Kim. Certainly not what I was expecting. A real surprise. My husband said, what have you bought now? And I said, I haven't bought anything. Honestly, I can prove it to you. I can show you my friend's email. Anyway, I hope that's all given you a bit of a laugh. And uh, unfortunately, I've got to go back. I've got to go out into the garden. I am starting to feel a bit better. And I am managed to do about half an hour to an hour's gardening at a time. And... Our um, bins are being our sort of green bins. How we have a we have a bin collection for green waste, um, you know, garden waste. So I need to get that filled up because it's getting collected tomorrow. So and also my vegetable patch really needs weeding so that I can actually start thinking about what I'm going to plant in it. Anyway, have a great day wherever you are, and we'll catch you another time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and subscribe yeah that's right and um, feel free to leave a comment and if anyone can help me with uh, recommend a good editing program that doesn't have bugs and will allow me to occasionally do a video that's longer than 10 minutes it'd be gratefully received bye for now